Welcome to the Cleveland Kibitz. This series follows me as we meet with Jewish Clevelanders from all walks of life, from business owners to religious leaders to nonprofit professionals serving our community. The Cleveland Kibitz is a conversation with some of Jewish Cleveland's most interesting personalities. My name is David Pearl. I'm a lifelong Clevelander with a passion for people and our remarkable Northeast Ohio Jewish community. This program is sponsored by Cleveland Jewish Funerals, Cleveland's only Jewish-owned and operated Jewish funeral home. Cleveland Jewish Funerals is committed to supporting Jewish life in Cleveland. To learn more about pre-planning, contact me, David Pearl. Pre-planning is an act of chesed, loving kindness, for those you leave behind. It's understandable to want to avoid this topic, but remember, it's not just about you. It's about those you leave behind. So contact me, David Pearl, at 216-340-1400. I'd be happy to sit down with you to explore your options. Hey, Jewish Cleveland. This episode of the Cleveland Kibitz takes us to Davis Bakery. This iconic Cleveland business has been around since 1939, quite the feat for any business. Davis Bakery has been beloved by generations of Clevelanders, offering traditional deli fare and amazing baked goods. For those in the know, their rye bread is truly second to none. But this is a story about continuity. It's a family story. Now well into the third generation. Brothers Ben, Julius, and Carl Davis founded Davis Bakery in July of 1939. Their first location was on South Taylor Road in Cleveland Heights. At this time, all the brothers made the promise to never use lard in any of their bakery products, a promise that has been kept to this day. This was done due to the Jewish heritage of the store's owners and many of their customers. While the store itself is not kosher, the plant where baked goods are produced is under the supervision of Rabbi Arya Spiro of Quality Kosher and has been for well over a decade. So join David Pearl as he visits that production facility in Warrensville Heights. Also, please visit the Woodmere store on Chagrin, conveniently located across the street from Eaton. But before you do, kindly watch the following one-minute message from our sponsor. Hey, Jewish Cleveland. Cleveland Jewish Funerals would like to cordially invite you to a free lunch and learn at the fabulous Cooper's Hawk Winery and Restaurant in Orange. For those who observe kashrut, we haven't forgotten about you. We can arrange kosher meals for those who request them. Learn how funeral pre-planning can spare your loved ones the burden of planning and paying for a funeral during an already difficult time. Also learn how pre-planning ensures that your funeral aligns with your beliefs and values. Now in case you're a bit hesitant to register because you're concerned that the event will be dark or depressing, we'd like to assure you that nothing could be further from the truth. Death is an inseparable part of life, but at Cleveland Jewish Funerals, we're committed to a vibrant Jewish life. And to help prove that point, we're going to be raffling off overnight accommodations for two at the beautiful Mario's International Spa Hotel in Aurora. Enjoy specialized spa therapies and a wide range of health and beauty treatments in a quaint old world atmosphere. Click on the registration button below to secure your reservation. Remember that spots are limited, so secure yours today. Today we're popping in to speak to the good folks at Davis Bakery, an iconic Cleveland business founded in 1939 and is still serving their world famous rye bread, their Cleveland famous coconut bars, Russian tea biscuits, and so much more. Come on. Let's go inside. Ah. Welcome. Hi, Stu. Stu Davis, the man himself. How are you? Welcome to Davis Bakery. Doing well. Doing well. Well, thanks for having us here today. Appreciate the opportunity to talk to you guys. I appreciate it. You guys are an iconic business. You know, like I I mentioned to the folks, 1939 you were founded. Yes, sir. Who founded it? So my grandfather and his two brothers, Carl, and Ju- uh, Carl, Ben, and Julius, were the three brothers that founded it in 1939. And uh, they started over on Taylor Road. And um, fr- from there, they, they built it up to about 39 stores in wow. the 1970s. Wow. And then uh, the second generation came in, and they, they started to streamline the operation. So now we're back down to the point where we have one store here, which I'll show you guys around. And uh, we, we have our flagship store over on Chagrin. Beautiful, beautiful. This is uh, the front, I guess, where we're here. And then you, uh, your uh, dad, yes, Joel Davis? My father, your father Joel. Joel Davis, yeah, is here. See if we can bring him in. <laughs> Hi, Joel. Hi, how are you, David? How you been? Good, good. By good. yourself. So far, so good. Good. So, uh, just tell us a little bit about your uh, 
place here a little bit. I heard some stuff from Stu already, but I guess you're 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 an icon in Cleveland. You know, everyone knows Davis Bakery. You know, so uh, what would you say you're you're most famous for? Uh, well, we're well known for our rye bread. A lot of people were our rye bread was voted, I think, number two in the country actually several wow. years ago. And so we're known for our rye bread, our coconut bars. We ship all over the country uh, via our website. And also our Russian tea biscuits. I would say that's our top three. And you can throw our chocolate chip cookies in there for number four. Oh, the chocolate chip cookies. They come with all the sandwiches, right? That's right. Everyone you get a, a, you get a pickle cookie and a smile with <laughs> every sandwich. Got it. So this is, uh, if you want to give us a tour or something around? I'll let you like do, do, I'll let let's do, do that. Let's show you guys around. And uh, no, I appreciate you having us here. And I'm, I'm glad I got to... Uh, you well, thank again you. thanks for having besides at the jcc where uh joel's and avid what do you what do you do at the j well, i've been teaching at the jcc over 15 years i teach group fitness uh my regular class is a bosu uh ball which we kind of do some cardio weights abs on and i sub in spinning and like a boot camp oh. class also that's why he's so trim that's right Very good. all right i'm up to you if you want to uh, give me okay, the rest yes, of the I'd tour i'd love to show you guys around here thanks There's Carl, uh, my grandfather Carl, right there. Right here? Yes, on the left, yeah. And that was Archie Ferguson. He was a longtime baker with us. Wow. Back in the 60s, they were promoting a, a heart healthy, salt free bread. So they would actually bake it in the cans. Really? Seal them up and ship them out all over the country. Look at that. So that's the loaf coming out of the can. Yep. Yeah. Very unique. What's up, Mike? Wow. So, yeah, Huge facility here. here. Yeah, Huge. About 5,000 square feet. Good thing we came at the end of the day. <laughs> well, we're in a transition now between our sweet shift and our bread shift. Got it. So my, my bread man just arrived. He's getting ready to, to gear up for the, for the evening. Got it. Uh, yeah, Look over at here these. We've, we've got our, our 140 quart mixers. Huge. I could take a bath the in big there. big spiral mixers, yeah. Let's fill it up with some hot water for me. I've no. got, got, got <laughs> six, seven hundred pounds of capacity. And then right here, this is what makes our rye bread what it really is. It's our, our sour. So we, we set a timer every two and a half to three hours. We, we feed it and keep building it up. They'll use it tonight for the rye bread and always hold some back. So we like to say it's our 83-year-old sour. Mm. So we always make sure you hold back at least a little bit, a little bit. and keep building it back up. Very nice. Cream cheese pastries, yep. A world famous, <laughs> made with butter, butter and cream cheese in the dough. Um, That's beautiful. I've beautiful. had a lot of cream cheese pastries. I, I feel ours are the best. They're also called kolaches. You know, from I've heard from several impartial sources that they feel ours the is the best. So, uh, it's not just me. So, and there's a different. Would you say are cream cheese pastries also rugelach, or is that different? Yes. Yeah. It's a, same, the same. same we use the same dough for the dough for the cream cheese pastries and the rugelach. So here is our bread line. We have a dough divider. It's currently covered up, but essentially you'll feed your dough into there. It will scale it and move it down to the rounder over here which then feeds it here to the intermediate proofer and it takes about 12 minutes to work its way from left to right and then your dough balls will come down the chute. Uh, so it, it already, it puts it into the dough balls, you don't have to... Right, we, we, we do quite a bit by hand as well, but, but yeah, the, this, machine, this, uh, this machine will uh, saves a lot expedite. Of time. Correct, and then we have different plates for this, this is called the molder, so it will mold up your loaf based on, on the plate that you have. So it's a pretty cool process. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be in action at this moment. Wow, but, um, and then from there, if we take it over to the proof box, which is basically a, a steam bath for the bread. Got it. So it, it accelerates the, uh, the yeast, the, yeast. Yep. Uh, the process of the yeast, which is basically just the yeast is eating the sugar and then the gases push it out to cause the bread to expand. So that speeds it up. I have a table just like this at home, but much smaller. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is quite a beautiful this, table. This, uh, this was actually, these were actually bowling planks at a bowling alley. And this really? was made into, made a, it table. into a table. Uh, you know, I, I couldn't tell you exactly how old this table is, but I know we've had this table since I was a little kid. So 
35 years ago. So. That's a great table. Yeah, it is. It's heavy duty. Watch uh, show the ovens real quick. Um, wow, these are we, ovens? Yeah, so we have three rack ovens. Wow. And these, these two, which are relatively new, we have actually programmed in um, all of the recipes we use, so, which makes it harder to mess it up. We still mess it up every now and again. But, so, so if you put in follows in there, in, you're done. Right. Press start, and the timer's going to go off. There's no, no excuse to burn it. Wow. And it just rotates it? Yes. Yep. So it'll there. rotate. So you get a nice, even bake. And then the other oven over there is, uh, it's about 40 years old, so we, we try to avoid using it when we can, but it still gets the job done when you need it to. These are great. Yeah. I love technology. Yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> All right, we're going live, Antrades. <laughs> So, so over here is where we do all of our, our packaging and um, logistics, essentially. So young man Antravius over here is getting everything packed up. Some items need to be scaled, so he'll put those on the scale. And These are the people ordered? Uh, for example, cream cheese. Orders. Correct. Cream cheese pastry by the pound. So he's, he'll scale it off, Got it. box it up, and get it set for shipping. Yes. And we're not working in circles every day. I see your Russian teas. Yep. I'm going to be sending you guys home with some Russian teas. <laughs> Very good. Wow. This is quite a facility, quite an operation. Thank you. We, we take a lot of pride in what we're doing here and uh, a lot of pride in the work. Hey, did you forget to register for the upcoming Lunch and Learn June 14th? What are you waiting for? You won't regret it. Call us at 216-238-2604 or click on the registration link below.